Hey there, you may notice from this setup here that I am in a pretty barren space. Today we're talking travel workspaces. And the intention here is for people who are on the move and would like to upgrade their travel workspace setup based on, um, you know, basically that remote travel lifestyle. Right now I'm in Airbnb and I wanna discuss some of the things I've found to be issues, problems, and the things I plan on buying to solve those things. And based, since I have been traveling quite a lot, I have some uh, experience on the things you might have not predicted that you might need and the things that you should consider based off what I have here. So currently this is a very minimal list setup. We're talking wireless keyboard, wireless mouse, MacBook, and then a pile of books. Now, for some people, this is enough. There's a lot of travel bloggers who use a minimalist setup like this. And yes, I also have a wireless headset and that helps as well. Here is what it looks like. It's a Logitech. But the issue here is that I think um, for someone like me who has been on a computer for over 20 years, you will run into issues with forearm pain and wrist pain that someone who's very youthful doesn't. So sure, like if you're a, if you're a Christian Lost LeBlanc with 2 million uh, subscribers, I've seen his work set up and it's usually on an elevated table like this. Now the issue though is what happens is your wrist is like that. And for someone like uh, Christian LeBlanc, and I've seen him do it, um, that's not gonna hurt his wrist much because he's young. He hasn't been doing it for long. But if you're older, that stuff is going to really mess up your joints and stuff. So what is the best physics and ergonomics setup? First off, let's define the physics of good posture. I've watched tons and tons of uh, physical therapy videos on this. And the basic idea is first and foremost, your knee and the chair has to have a 90 degree angle. And then your elbows also need a 90 degree-ish angle. It can be a little bit lower. Uh, I like it a little bit lower rather than a little bit higher um, for your keyboard and, and setup. And so people usually fail at this or, you know, unlike in a home workspace, you can't really define your chair as much or you can't really define your desk setup. And I found while traveling, most desk setups are a little bit higher than you would like, um, at, at least the table is. So what can you actually do to fix this? By the way, sorry for the noise, there is construction going on. So the simple answer is, um, there's a few things that I'm gonna be investing in. Now with books, you, that's probably the cheapest way. If you can carry a bunch of books with you while traveling, or just go buy some or find some props. Like, this could even, I've even used like uh, large canisters of peanut uh, case holders, which does the same thing. Um, but books are more versatile. You can go move it up and down for an affordable price. But um, if you really want something that really works, um, ultimately, uh, one is a lap desk. So um, you could, you can even put this just on your lap itself. Um, 